imagine you're building a house. You have all the tools, all the supplies, but you don't actually know how to build a house or even what to do with the tools or supplies. This idea is a great analogy for navigating through the financial demands of college. The problem, the one of the challenges of college is students going into debt. Approximately, in the United States, student, total student debt is $1.75 trillion. According to Forbes Advisor, 55% 55, 55 of these students are from public schools and 57% are from private schools. According to Lending Tree, the average student in Idaho spends about $43,000 and $94 in student debt. The total for Idaho is $7.5 billion. One way to help with the financial challenges is to be disciplined on saving money. You can start by budgeting. Budgeting is an important way to manage your money. You can make spreadsheets and have certain have certain parts of your life that you need to be spending money, and every time you spend money, you'll take out from that part. You can also use QuickBooks, which is an online website that shows you how much money you have in your account at all times. You can add and subtract from this to show you how much money you have. You should also be saving money. Instead of saving money is knowing the difference between wants and needs. Instead of going and blowing your money on things that you want, you should be spending it on things that you need. You should also have a savings account. I have been doing 4-H since I was eight years old, and all of the money that I've been getting for 4-H goes into a savings account for me for college. You should also be working. I worked at a snow cone shack for one summer, and I made around $2,000 from doing that. I am now working at my dad's dental office as a dental assistant, and I, the money that I make from there also goes into my savings account for college. Working while you're in school, while receiving money, you also have good work ethics. Another way to ease the financial burden is to apply for scholarships. There is scholarships for almost anything that you would want to do. There's even scholarships for being left-handed. You can get scholarships by the places you live, if you live in rural areas, cities, or if you are an immigrant, you can get scholarships for basically anything. You should also look at the schools that you want to go to to see what scholarships they offer. I am planning on going to Utah State, and because my grandparents graduated from Utah State, I qualify for a legacy scholarship, which means that I would be getting in-state tuition. In-state tuition per semester for a, for a Utah State student is $11,000. For an out-of-state student, it's around $19,000 per semester. You can also you should go to scholarships.com to apply for your scholarship. You can also do fast forward funds. I have been doing fast forward funds since I started high school, which means that I have a certain amount of money, which is $4,125 from the state that pays for my dual credit classes. Dual credit classes are college level courses that I'll be taking to graduate high school with my associate's degree. With the dual credit classes, I pay $75 per credit. All of these credits are paid by the state. If I was a CS enrolled in CSI as a student, I'd be paying $140 per credit. And in by doing fast forward funds, I will also be cutting off two years of college. This will also save me money because I'm not paying for my first two years. 
You can also do dual credit classes such as CNA or EMT at the, at the high school tech center. These are dual credit and so they're still paid for. I am taking the CNA class right now. There's also a ton of different other groups of classes like construction and welding. Basically anything, any field that you would want to go into, you can do that. I'm taking CNA as dual credit, so I will be able to graduate with my CNA certification and work as a CNA. I would also like to be taking the EMT class next year so I can graduate with my EMT certification, which means that I will graduate with a good job. You can also apply for financial aid. Financial aid is borrowed money. You can borrow it from a bank, which means that you would be paying interest. It's the most expensive way, but you can also do federal, which is you can do subsidized, which means that you wouldn't be paying interest, or unsubsidized, which means that you would be paying interest. You can go to studentaid.gov to apply. In conclusion, the problem with students going, going into debt can be alleviated by the tools I have given you. Just like building a just like the tools you need to build a house, I have given you the tools to build your education.